Hi, this is Abe, and you're watching CoachingReallyWorks.com. Now, you know those goals that you have. Maybe you want to run a marathon. Uh, maybe you want to, maybe there's, you have some goals for your family, some special vacation that you want to take. Maybe you have business goals, some idea, you're setting up a new business or moving in a new direction. What is going to move the needle? What is going to really take you and make that thing happen, rather than it just being some dream out there, some idea that maybe someday you'll get to it? Well, it's this, focus, okay? What you focus on gets done. Where your attention goes, okay, that is what gets taken care of. That's where things happen. That's where the magic is, okay? Now, those people that win the marathon, their toes probably hurt just as much as the other guy who lost and complained that his toe was bothering him. Okay? Now, when you're working towards a goal, when you're sitting down to take care of something, are you going to let those little things pull you away? Are you going to look at your watch every five minutes and decide that you'd rather be doing this or rather be doing that? Or are you going to say, no, I'm going to focus on what really matters. And equally as important in focusing on what really matters, remember, don't focus on the things that are negative, that are pulling you away from your goal. Okay? Um, maybe you have debt that you've incurred. If you spend all your time worrying and freaking out and trying to figure out how am I going to pay back this debt, how am I, you're going to get more debt because you're just thinking about debt. But if you think about savings, if you think about uh, investing in certain things while you're paying off your debt, you're changing your focus and you're moving into areas of growth and not just focusing on the thing that you don't want. It's the same thing in a relationship. If you focus on uh, the bad times, of course you're going to get more bad times, right? Um, if you hit your hand, finger with a hammer while you're nailing something down, you know what you usually do to, to get your focus off that thumb? You jump up and down and you scream. And that uh, jumping up and down and screaming gets your mind off of the pain that you're going through. And it's very much like that. That's a natural reaction that you have, but we can do that with so many other things in life as well. All right, so remember, what you focus on gets done. Now here's your quote for today. Don't dwell on what went wrong. Instead, focus on what to do next. Spend your energies on moving forward towards finding the answer. That's from Dennis Waitley. Okay, now here's your affirmation for today. Remember, post it by your bed or on the mirror, somewhere in the kitchen on your way out. Say it twice a day, at least three times each time you see it. I concentrate easily and I focus automatically. Hey guys, this is Abe. Did you like this episode? If you did, there are three things you can do right now to continue your journey. First, you can subscribe to this channel right here so that I can send you videos on a weekly basis to change your life. Second, you can get my brand new cheat sheet by clicking on the button right here. Third, you can go over to my website and sign up for my newsletter so that I can send you free offers, free programs, free products, new podcasts, and everything else that we don't do on this channel right here. If you'd like to do that, please click on any of these buttons that you see right here. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, go out there and continue to take steps towards your dream as you live a life that really matters.